Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at this. It is the Vlogstar Compact Camera Microphone. Something for that run and gun shooter. It's a shotgun and lav mic combination. It's interesting, we'll say that. It's from a company called Idlecam and we're gonna test this out today, see what you get in the box and see what it's like in a studio environment and out and about vlogging as well. Okay, so we're out here with the Vlogstar directional microphone plugged into the Canon RP. We're full frame, we're vlogging on the 16 millimeter. No image stabilization on this camera, so if it's a bit jiggly, I apologize. We're just going handheld. But more importantly, what does it sound like? Does it sound good? We've got a bit of wind up here on top of this hill in beautiful Shropshire. I'm out here doing a couple of videos testing different things. But while we're here, I just want to check this outside. So this is facing in front of me. The one huge issue I've got though with this microphone is that it's more or less blocking the screen. When you've got the dead cat on there as well, it's just totally blocked. You cannot see it at all. <laughs> so uh, that's a major problem. It's a massive downfall, obviously, but it's a microphone. So primarily, we're here to test the audio. What does it sound like? One, two, three, testing. One, two, three, testing. So now we're walking forward. The microphone is easily turned around. That's a good feature about this. It just sort of twists in the microphone port. And so you can vlog and face away and still have the, the microphone facing you and get decent audio. Very easy to do. If we turn the microphone away from you though, into the wind, Hopefully that wind muff will stop the wind, but then you will get my voice a bit less from behind because it's supposed to be a directional microphone. It's supposed to pick up what's in front of the microphone. So let's turn it around. And this is me talking and walking with the microphone facing away from me. Hopefully it does its job of isolating the sound from behind. And let me know in the comments down below what you think. We'll test it in the studio as well to see what it's like in like a studio environment. But this is a small, compact microphone. I'm betting it's designed to be out and about for vlogging, for just plugging into a phone, plugging into a small camera, for a sort of a compact, ease of use kind of microphone. So we'll test it in the studio as well, but this is what it sounds like out and about, with wind. Like that, blowing around, and hopefully it sounds pretty good. What you get in the box, first of all, is the microphone itself. Now, this is a CNC milled design. It's, it's got a bit of weight to it. It says 18 grams, but it does feel a little bit heavier than that, to be honest with you. It's, it feels like it's well made and bomb proof, although the actual design of this is where it sticks inside of the camera. I've just got that fear of it being snapped off. If you just knock it or something, it's gonna snap on the side, so we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. Like I said, it's a shotgun and lav mic combined. The lav mic is not really a lav mic, but you get this extender cable where the microphone plugs in there. You get your little clip so you can clip it onto you uh, on there, and then that runs to the camera or phone or whatever you're using this microphone with. So it's a lav mic solution, we'll put it that way. It's not exactly a lav mic in itself, but it's really designed to be used as is, just plugged into the camera. You can use this with all devices. It comes with this little extension as well. So for TRS devices like mobile phones and GoPros and, and things like that, you can use the extension and then plug it into the extension like that and use it for different devices. You do get this cool little dead cat that goes over the top of the microphone to stop the wind noise and it has this handy little yellow dot to let you know which way the microphone is facing because it's important that we do know which way this microphone is facing, I must say that. It's a directional mic so whatever is in front of the microphone it will be picking up and that's a really good thing when it comes to shotgun microphones. It does have a decent amount of noise isolation so anything that's behind the camera or behind the microphone will be cut out a decent amount. Right, we're in the studio, and this is with the Vlogstar plugged into the Canon RP, just about, not even, just under a metre away from the camera, and sort of this is the kind of distance maybe that'll be from the camera when I'm recording in here. So what does this sound like? Does it sound good? Does it sound bad? 
I've actually listened back to some of the footage that I recorded out and about and yeah, I think it sounds pretty good. That's both good and bad for me because it's good the fact that the audio is good and if you're going to use this for like mobile devices or small point and shoot cameras and that's brilliant. But this thing has just too many flaws for me to use this on a regular basis. For somebody who's been doing YouTube for a few years, yeah, I need a, something a little bit better. Something on the cold shoe on the top, something where I can see the screen on the side. Not something that sort of blocks it and it's a little bit awkward to put into the camera. If you're just starting out, your budget's limited, then this is a really, really good option because the sound is really good for something so small. They've obviously put a lot of effort into making the audio as good as possible and considering it's not powered as well, it does sound really, really good. Some of the plus features of this is it's got a inbuilt shock mount. So actually in this actual device, very small device, there is a shock mount built into here. So you're not going to get any vibrations or knocking, hopefully. Also, it doesn't require any batteries. And that's a brilliant thing when it comes to using microphones. Not always do you have the capability to use a battery powered microphone. So having something that you can just plug into the camera and not worry about it needing phantom power or anything is a good feature as well. one of my favourite spots. There's a bench here, I should take my camera bag off really, but can't be bothered. And you got that view. So once we've finished filming, I'll just come here, sit down, just take 10 minutes, just relax, because sometimes you can get a bit of head up and forget that you're actually outside in this, you're looking at a camera all the time. Instead of looking at this and just chilling out five, 10 minutes while well, you've got the chance, you gotta do that as well. This is my favourite place. One of my favourite places in the world. So that's it for the Vlogstar. Um, like I said, it's probably aimed at the younger audience. It's not a professional device, although it has got professional sound. It does sound very good for what it is, but I just wouldn't recommend it for anybody that's been doing YouTube for a certain amount of time who's a professional. It's very orientated towards the younger market, and that's what I would say it's perfect for. Some Somebody who's younger, who's using the phone to vlog, this would be a brilliant option because the audio is good. It's cheap at £49 in the UK. Yeah, it's a good option for those people. So that's the market it's aimed at and that's who I'd fully recommend it for. Definitely get one if that's who you are. If you're somebody that needs uh, more of a professional setup, then this won't be for you. Overall, it's a really good sounding, cheap microphone with just a few quirks and a few sort of identity issues going on. Apart from that, I would recommend it. Well, that's it for this video. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We have new tech uploads more or less every other day on this channel. We've got lots of stuff happening. So stay tuned, press that notification bell to get notified every time I upload. Appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.